I am making over this bookcase which I'm going to use as a display for my transfers and decoupage paper in my shop. The technique I chose for this one is the white waxing technique. It is definitely cold outside. It has snowed this night, but uh, it's already melting and that's good news because you can't use any Sloan chalk paint and I think it doesn't even matter which chalk paint you're using, you can't use it when it's uh, freezing outside, at least you can't paint outside. That's exactly what I'm going to do. It's one degrees, two degrees Celsius, so that's just enough. So let's get started. I made a custom color blend using the colors Olive and Cocoa from the Annie Sloan's chalk paint range. As you can see, I often use an old spoon to mix my paint instead of a wooden stick. I just like the idea that you don't have to throw the spoon away afterwards. You can wash it with a bit of water and use it as many times as you like. I mixed three parts of olive with one part of cocoa and I gave it a good mix. The result is a soft sage green color. Coco is the ideal color to mix with almost any other color from the Annie Sloan chalk paint range. The effect you get when mixing one part of cocoa with three parts of another base color is that your base color will get a sort of a dusty, almost faded look. Perfect, now let's go outside and conquer the cold. My husband removed the dust from the bouquets with his air compressor. And then I went in with some hot water and dish soap to make sure everything was nice and clean, so my paint would stick to the piece. I started by painting the shelves. Since the surface was flat and I wanted this piece to look a bit smoother, I decided to use a roller for this one. Thanks to the roller I could work very quickly, which I didn't mind at all considering the cold temperature. But for the huge bookcase itself I had to use a smaller brush to get into all those little details you can see right here. So no quick work at all on this part, but fortunately my husband came to the rescue to help me out a bit. Well, you know what they say, couples that paint together, stay together. second coat is on. Look at my hands. I don't know if you can see it, they're just so red. So 
so cold. And here is the second coat done. Oh my god. Oh, it is so, so cold. <laughs> I don't know if this was just plain stupid or if you call it dedication. I leave it up to you. Because we were focusing so much on getting that bouquet done quickly, we almost forgot to paint the ornament that goes on top of the bouquets. I don't think I have to mention how happy I was we could take the bouquets back inside for the last part of the makeover. And the last part being applying white wax. As most of you probably know, when you use a colored wax, it's advised to apply a coat of clear wax first. You wipe away the excess clear wax and then you apply the colored wax. As for white wax, you can skip this step. You don't have to apply clear wax first. The white wax can go directly onto the painted furniture. But when you're a beginner or when it's the first time you use white wax, it might still be a good idea to apply clear wax first because the clear wax will help you move around the white wax better, which makes it a whole lot easier to get an even result. As you can see, I changed outfit and the reason why is because I have to run to the office right now. And because I have to run to the office, I... Whoa, <laughs> okay, <laughs> blooper. Um, let's try that again. As you can see, I changed outfit and the reason why I changed outfit is because I have to run to the office right now. And because I have to run to the office, I wasn't able to finish my white wax on this uh, back panel of this cupboard. Um, why do you have to do a big panel like I have to do right here and you want to do a colored wax, being white wax, dark wax, black wax, whatever? Don't do what I did. When you have the chance, please do it in one go because now I have to split it up in two parts. I have to do the top part tomorrow and I run the risk of having the line over here. But better problems for tomorrow. Right now I have to hurry to the office. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, here we are again. Today I am going to address my little stripe problem over here that I talked to you about yesterday. So I had an idea to think about it and the strategy that I'm going to use is I'm just going to put the white wax on the top part. And once the white wax is on, I'm going to see if the stripe really is a problem or maybe it's not as bad as I, as I thought it would be. If it is a problem, then the strategy is I'm going to take some mineral spirits and I'm going to remove the wax over here, reapply wax and just to make the transition a bit smoother. So let's get started and see how big the problem is. Pray for me! We have a stripe. So yeah, I need to address it. I'm going to at least make sure that this color and this color is a little bit more even. So I'm going to put on extra white wax. Uh, but first, I'm going to remove this part. A little bit of, uh, of mineral spirits. I think the really drastic white line is gone now. Um, I'm going to add white wax again and then hopefully I will get the transition smoother. But I'm quite hopeful. I think it was a good strategy. Let's see. <laughs> So 
So next I'm going to wipe it away, but before I'm going to do that, I'm going to add a bit of clear wax underneath. And the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, this part, uh, the wax has already set because I did it uh, sooner, I did it earlier. Um, so I'm going to apply a little bit of clear wax so I can work the white wax better around. You see like a little bit of a gap, I need to make it more white, but I don't have a white stripe anymore, so we are getting there. The only thing that's left to do now is to apply white wax on the ornament and then we can reassemble the bouquets and I can't wait to show you the finished result. Here's just a quick reminder of how this bouquet used to look like. And here is how it looks now. I love the custom color mix with olive and cocoa and how the white wax makes the heavy piece bright and airy. I hardly ever see videos where furniture artists use white wax and I have to admit I don't use it very often either. But let's agree that white wax is so underrated. My transfers and decoupage paper fit perfectly and I think it looks amazing in my little shop. If you should be in Belgium one day, make sure to drop in and say hello. I'll drop the link to my shop in the description below. Let me know what you think of the result. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!